Hey guys, Spartan here, welcome back to Final Fantasy X. It's been like about a month. So, uh, yeah. I'm here with, uh... Yep. Bullet, I guess. And we're gonna yep. get out of this, this fucking hellscape. You so, know, uh... Funny. Yeah? Uh... The fact that I actually managed to finish this game by the time you started recording the second episode. Yeah. That'll be interesting. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, uh, oh, hang on, I've got to switch the camera angle just to look at these flowers. To be fair, they are, like, really nice flowers. They were, they're fucking withered and brown. I don't consider them very nice anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, they're there. It's more alive than anything else in this temple. Well, that Titus, alive Titus. He's kind of alive. Is he, though? I mean, he's dead inside. Actually, yeah, good point. Plot point. Not really. <laughs> he's got nothing left to live for, dude. His baseball career is over. I mean, that's the entire thing about Final Fantasy X. Everyone's obsessed with death. Just bang it's together true. that invisible rock in his hand. So the audio may not be perfect in this episode because new headset. First recording with it. <clears throat> also, uh, Titus learned Fireaga already? Yeah. Nice. This is the Final Fantasy X randomizer. Is that an actual mod? It, it probably is. I've been playing the Final Fantasy XII randomizer every now and then. It's fun. I need to play that game. I have it in my library, but I haven't played it. Well, I, I played it, but food. I didn't, like, dropped it after a few hours. It's a good game. Also, Titus is hungry. You want? Yeah, Titus is also T-posing on the ground. It was a bad call. As assert his dominance. Your team lost because of you. Also, this room that only exists that? in this dream. <laughs> yeah, Titus actually sleeps on a bench. Ten years. Yeah. He has the dream up. This I room, because he's homeless. Who? Me? You cried. Goddamn spirit boys invading Titus's room. You cried. Really good dialogue. Like the little chocobo uh, in the bottom right that whenever there's a loading screen. Just reminds me of that uh, awful chocobo kart racing game that Final Fantasy devs made. Wait, was the chocobo thing added with like the remaster? Because I don't remember that hey, at all. Wait, wait, no, I, I mean the individual me. game. The fucking well, to, wait, Mario Kart game. Just hold on. I'll get more wood. Hold also, on, Titus, confused. that's what I say in bed. You know what, never mind. I do have the question though, are we gonna be bringing up like spoilers for jokes or are we like keeping it? No, uh, we're probably gonna part. be alluding to plot events. Alright. So like semi-spoilers. Yeah. Alright. Alright, time for riveting combat. This is just SMT3 gameplay. Spamming basic attack. <laughs> oh, you get two attacks in a row. Hold on. Gameplay. Yeah, imagine if this game had the press turn system. Wonderful. God. So like the PS2 models and like the remaster models are like really trying to see. <laughs> Something about Titus' eyes here are just like I don't know what it is, but it feels like there's like a lot of space in between them. He looks lifeless. Oh there's Rob from the Blitzball. Uh, AKA one from, of like... the fucking seven Albed models they have in the game for generic units. Well, I was gonna say they kind of look like Killzone characters. I wouldn't know. You on my side? Cool. Using grenades. Like how it isn't an explanation of the use command. It's just using grenades. All right. Oh, I can't steal yet. Literally 1984. 
I should probably explain how the steel command works in this game. You know how the steel command works, right? Uh, sort of. So every enemy has a... I think it's an 87.5% chance of a common steel and a 12.5% chance of a rare steel. I just got a rare steel there because I got two grenades. And steal rate is 100%. And you halve that for every other steal, so like there's a 50% chance I steal from this successfully now. And now it's gonna uh, be one quarter. That's yeah, all you need to like, know. I was kinda confused by that, I wasn't sure if like, it was guaranteed to get a second steal or not, but uh, that's good to know. I mean, in theory you can get like, a million steals. Also, how much damage does Riku do? Like 60? Really off. Oh, sorry, not Riku. I mean, uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, totally mysterious character that will never show up. Also, uh, 437 AP for a level up. It's gonna be worth it, though. Imagine. Ass shot. Ass shot. Yep. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Damn, Phew. Titus is mesmerized. That was close. Look how Titus can speak, and even though these losers can't, Riku does hey, nothing right now. Go. Yeah, that's kind of a dickish, isn't it? Redek Drek! Ivin, Irisa, Tekiaka! Bok, Ideku! He looks so scared right now. Fed! Trivadek Risa! He really does just have, like, the biggest poker face for, for like, Almost being murdered here. He's emotionless. So look at his weird orange fucking lips. It's gotta be like some disease. <laughs> it feels like more like brown. Also just assault a random person for no reason. Yeah, Riku does 60 damage and Titus does more and that fiend did more than Riku. And yet Riku can still one shot Titus. Just didn't hit the right spot, dude. In the dick. So what the hell is that stupid arm cage there? I I almost wanted to comment on that. <laughs> I have no idea. Kid, did die jump. Hey, that hurts. Helps him swim better. Whoa. Somehow. Okay. Don't understand these losers at all. Oh, there's <laughs> the worst named character Genius. in the game. And that would be. <laughs> well, also look at that book in the background. Right. Totally isn't out of place. <laughs> and the uh, totally convenient safe spot. <laughs> the sphere of blue instant knowledge. It, it, it looks like a fucking blitzball arena. You are so right about that. You said you can stay if you make yourself useful. It's just proof the ball is life. You understand me? That's ball is life, dude. All right, I'll work. Slave labor. All right, let's Communism. grab the book. We've achieved the rank of Albed Hujela. Hallelujah. So we do not save after, I mean, not heal after that. So it's proof that they didn't actually heal us. Blah 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 blah. Give me no, items. Maybe Walker was right. <laughs> maybe there's a good oh, reason for his racism. Yeah. All right, Sphere Group tutorial. I'm gonna mash through this because it's very easy to learn. It is not nearly as hard as some people say it is. You move Maybe one space, only... or three spaces, and you buy the spheres next to you, and the one that you're on. The only confusing thing is, like, learning where the, uh, key spheres drop. Yeah. The quick answer is, they don't. Fair you're gonna enough. have to face fucking Earth Eater or something like that to get them. 
Yeah, spoilers, nobody fights Earth Eater because it sucks ass to kill. Is that like an arena monster? Or is yeah. that like... It's like one of the first ones you unlock because uh, the prerequisite is obtain two other creatures, like special creation creation creatures. I honestly don't think I did like a single arena monster. I was going to do like the uh, eye that drops like four AP weapons, but uh, I just gave up on that. So I'm using the advanced sphere grid, which means two things. It means one, uh, you can pretty much go to anyone's sphere grid except Riku's right off the bat. So like if I wanted to, I could just go down and go down here and I could go through Yuna's sphere grid as Titus. Not recommended to do that, but you can. Uh, you can also go through Auron's sphere grid. I think that's here. No, that's Waka. Where is Auron? Oh yeah, Auron's is locked off as well, kind of. But you have to go up and around. But yeah, this makes Kimari actually somewhat useful because unlike the original, there's no like ring of level 1 locks around him preventing him from going anywhere. So, I'm just gonna uh, do Titus normally though. Are you gonna be doing any wacky builds for this one? I'm gonna be doing the builds that I usually do, which is just playing the characters as best you can. We found some ancient ruins right beneath Fair enough. us. Ruin has it's come to our family. Now, but there should still be <laughs> some power left. Uh We're so what's the event speed grid thing? Was that added with the remaster or is that always a thing? Yeah, nah, it's always a thing. Price. You can choose that at the start of the game. <laughs> what the oh, fuck, okay. Titus? Why were you Let's mouthing off there? Roger! Alright, there's two things I want to do right before I uh, actually go down into this thing. Oh, hang on, that's the wrong button. Sorry. I, I, I've got fucking Xbox prompts. I was honestly expecting them to, like, shove Titus off as soon as he got up on the ship again. <laughs> so, I want two power spheres right now. Just need to fight a few random encounters. Just uh, run up against a wall, pull up and down against a wall, just like an Undertale. That's yeah. That's how they do it. Also, I want to steal as many grenades as I can. Uh, not because they're useful in battle, but because they sell for a bit. And I... Like, there's only, like, three parts of the game where you need money. One of which is very early on. This is honestly going to be a pretty interesting uh, learning experience for me because I don't know what like the good shit to steal is. Well, the only thing you can get is grenades here currently, so that sucks. Also, got a mana sphere, not a power sphere. <laughs> Gotta go and kill some more fucking killer fish from San Diego. Man, where's the where's the double encounters rate thing? Should I explain what Overkill is? Uh, I mean to like me personally or like in the series? Just in general. Uh, I can probably uh, do that I later, but... It... Overkill just basically means you get more experience for killing an enemy. Hey, two grenades, good. And pretty much at the start of the game it requires you to score a crit. Two AP. Uh, hey, Power I... Sphere, good. It's one out of two. I'll do both of them at once when I get them. Hey, Riku. Totally just didn't join randomly for no reason. So after that, isn't it like dealing at least like a thousand damage after their max HP goes to zero? Uh, it's like, it, I don't know, it's weird. Like, okay, there's a crit. <laughs> So like that enemy has 150 HP, I did that and I gain, I think, one extra AP and double, uh, double loot drops. And trust me, you're going to want to overkill as many enemies as possible, that's, that's not like, oh, that's total overkill, you wasted your effort. No, that's like, 
That, that doubles boss drops as well. So if you kill a boss with anything other than overkill, you're wasting valuable resources. That is good to know. Knowing me, I'll never crit. That's why you just gotta save your overdrives for last. Speaking of overdrives, uh, obviously need to... Well, actually, did you get all of Titus's overdrives on your playthrough? I literally only got his, like, first two. Okay, because you need to use his, uh, spiral cut ten times to get his second one. You need to use his second one, like, twenty times. And then you need to use his third one thirty times or some garbage like that. Thankfully, energy rain is very easy to spam. That is the only, like, mercy point. Yeah, I literally never used his uh, second overdrive, which probably explains why I never got the other ones. Well, his second overdrive is kind of garbage. Man, I got so fucked for playing optimally. Optimally in quotation marks. I mean, you only need to play optimally if you're going for like super end game. Can I get like... Okay, there we go, second power sphere. Good. So we're gonna give uh, Titus one point of defense, and more usefully, thankfully Riku doesn't need to level up to grab this 200 HP. So Riku actually has more HP than Titus. I see a lot of people complain that Riku is a complete glass oh, cannon, oh, ass cannon, in terms of like, oh she dies too quickly. But no, you just need to grab that really on. Yeah. Honestly, I think he was like more tanky than Lulu for me. Oh god, no, it's replaying the sphere group tutorial. Alright, reminded not to talk to Albert anymore. Yeah. And we totally didn't say anything offensive during that cutout. Yeah, we didn't uh gain the DJ role. Yeah, uh no other <coughs> words said nothing offensive about Albeds. We're good. Yeah, this this broadcast was sponsored by Waka. Yeah. Grand Wizard Waka. I like how his hood has, like, physics. It sure does. Throw all the budget ones. Nah, mate. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna grind until Riku gets her overdrive. And then we're gonna one-shot the squid boss. I really? No! <laughs> That's a stupid idea. Even though Riku can kill the squid boss in one turn very easily. And it's uh, that, always going to be an overkill, obviously. That honestly reminded me of that, like... God, there's that person in World of Warcraft that grinded in, like, the first area for, like, what, 20 years just to get max level? I mean, have you ever heard of the YouTuber Dan's Geo 8 I have not. Do I want to know? I mean, he's the Final Fantasy X guy. And his, his YouTube channel recently hit 13 years of activity. And one of the things he did is he beat pretty much everything in the game without using the Sphere Grid. Including the fucking Dark Aeons. Oh, Jesus, goddamn. Wait, that was that like... He played sorry, what is ahead. essentially like maybe 50,000 hours of Blitzball in total or something like that. Time will spend. Wait, was that like not a challenge before, or is that like the first ever no leveling run? I mean, I don't know. Like, who would want to do that is the question. Mad lads. I know, fish. Oh, this is only two fish, never mind. Well, which one's slower? None of them, they're both the same. Alright, Titus, just Very score a, a crit. It's that easy. I don't remember if you can even dodge the uh, triple ones. I'm gonna go for a second. Nope. Okay. So are these fish just like eating grenades or something? So what happens is that Riku uses Albed magic to uh, craft a shrapnel grenade out of the spines of these fish. Or something, I don't know. It's 
Albed voodoo magic. Riku just plants items on the enemies and then pretends to steal them. <laughs> just to pretend she's being useful. Okay, time for Titus's magic fixing touch. Okay. Punch it repeatedly. And Riku just gives a thumbs up. Yeah, that's how you do it. It's about your average Doom Eternal cutscene right there. Okay, strobe lights. Good. Both tentacles. You've enraged the giant squid. I didn't realize it was going to be one of those episodes. I mean, we've already got the ass shots from Riku. Yep, it's only going to get worse from here on out. Alright, Tross. Well, time to explain uh, Chia. So Chia boosts party strength and defense and it stacks up to five times. And it is very, very good. You want to use this every single boss fight you can, pretty much. Also, it's very fast. Yeah, I think it uh, kind of carried me during my uh, low-level excursions. I honestly uh, traumatized for how low-level I was from doing all the final bosses. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to be over-leveled when I reach uh, the final bosses. Okay, so this is like... Is this four or three? I'm, I've lost count. Uh, honestly, probably four. I've lost count too, but I'm just going to guess four. Well, later on in the game we're going to use a different technique to apply five cheers. So, we're going to be dealing like... Riku was dealing 60 damage to that uh, base game, whatever it is. Now it's uh, 136. And Titus, who was dealing 140s, is now dealing double that. Wait, isn't there supposed to be some like unique mechanic here where you have to like move around? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. Trigger commands. Press left. And you can choose to stand by to gain 50 HP. Even though I'm pretty sure that pressing triangle to just like pass your turn and guard is more effective. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Titus takes too little damage currently for it to matter. Gotta get that bag stat bonus. Nah, Titus isn't a rogue. Doesn't work. Like how Riku has to stand by because she's not smart enough to go, you know what? Pincer attack. She doesn't know how to put her arms up. Just block it, bro. Okay, nice camera there. Yeah, 37. That's fucking nothing. Goodbye. Okay. I think that a uh, triple of fucking five cheered Titus always does enough damage to overkill Cross. What's what say? What's the uh, name of this boss? Cross? Oh yeah, Tross. Yeah, it says so in the top left. Alright. It's gonna be useful in like... a minute. Yeah, I need to try and get more eyes. grenades. Riku can't go five seconds without planning evidence. Okay, that was not enough to overkill. Uh, it doesn't matter, this thing doesn't drop anything useful. Ink attack. Looks like that. Looks like that was a real atrocity. Please clap. Minus two. <laughs> hey, convenient opening that we could have gone through, but we didn't. Yeah, no items. Thanks, Tross. Uh, Riku needed a grenade fix, dude. She's not leaving without it. Alright, time to do random encounters until we get more grenades. As soon as Riku gets back, she's just gonna like snort all the gunpowder in those grenades. It's the best way to live. Yeah, it allows her to learn self-destruct. 
He just swallows a match. He's done. <laughs> That's my trick, but I can only do it once. Is the uh, self-destruct actually like good? No. <laughs> this game on Kimari. <laughs> actually, yes. Yeah, self-destruct is good for one reason: it gets Kimari out of the fight. <laughs> I'm assuming it only does like 2,000 damage or something. I think it does five times Kimari's max HP or something like that. But yeah, here's the Fahrenheit. That's the name of the ship. Should have been called the Celsius. I don't get it. It's... The f temperature. I don't get it. <laughs> Alright then. I'm using the wrong system over here. It's covered in rocks. This thing will never fly. Oh wait, so this is the actual... Yeah, this is the airship. Oh, okay, I like, did not pick up on that. But then again, I hadn't, like... There was like a huge gap between when I picked up the game again and when I like, left off. <laughs> I mean, you had to deal with PS2 graphics as well. It was worth it though. They just left their guns out there. Titus could easily take them and overturn the ship. They're still in the water. Actually, never mind, because those guns do like only 200 damage or something like that. If they are the same one they have in uh, Bevel. Um. Hungry. I mean, do guns actually count as machina? Well, I mean, fun fact, guns count as individual people, technically. Whoa. What? Right on. So, uh, in Bavel and a, a certain other spot in the game where there are enemies that have guns, um, they are two separate models. So if you have the overdrive mode Slayer that gives you overdrive charge when you kill an enemy, you get double the charge for killing an enemy that has a gun. What the fuck? Yeah, it's it's stupid, but it's true. It's cause you eat too fast. I'm glad you were explaining that while Titus was about to choke to death. <laughs> Don't worry, Titus isn't important. Also, the tray just disappeared. He ate the tray. He was that hungry, dude. He claimed to be incredibly hungry, ate like for four seconds and then stopped. He's got fucking refeeding syndrome. There. What is your name? Riku. Whoa! Buff Riku. You really do understand. <laughs> wow, I'm a big Buff Riku fan. <laughs> huh? He's really happy about uh, this. Why didn't you say so earlier? I didn't get it. So what the hell is that belt you're wearing, you Riku? Think. You mean the one that's like going oh, under her uh Oh. We mean crotch. You. That's a fucking chastity belt. I know it. Um, who are you guys anyway? I didn't, I didn't realize we had the best soul in this game. We're all yeah. Dead. Can't you tell? She's gonna I learn pray, and it's gonna heal like bed, no right? HP. I don't even know what an owl bed is. <laughs> I think Nomura has a thing for belts. I'm a it's just player. a gut feeling. Oh uh, yeah, this this is the Star game with fucking Lulu in it. Did you? Yeah, her belt is like lit or her fucking not her belt. Her dress is literally um, nothing but belts. <laughs> oh right. Also, I'd like to point out that uh, Titus wears like weird overalls. Does he? Oh. Yeah, you look at it from the front, and he's got overall straps. So I told her everything there was to tell about Xanarkin. Man, I'm like just learning the, something new every day. That's there, like country belts. And sin's kind of. attack. And well, I'm southern, so I would know what some overalls look like. I need to get like the things that came to mind. But then I started to wonder. Yeah, that's exactly what we sound like. Spot on. Did I say something funny? Well, I'm not laughing. Oh, 
You say something funny every time you open your mouth. Thanks, James Arnold Remember, Taylor. You'll be better in no time. They say your head gets funny when sin is near. Maybe you just had some kind of dream? James Arnold Taylor, famous for voicing you Ratchet and nobody else. Because of Sin's toxin, yeah. You sure? What a role. Yeah, there is no Xanarchy Also, I don't anymore. think I'm seeing those overalls. Sin destroyed it a thousand years ago. <laughs> so, no one plays Blitzball there. Huh? Haha, ha, Titus, your home was destroyed. What? That won't happen what to us. What do you mean, a thousand years ago? But I saw Sin attack Xanarkin. Oh my god, you're right. You're I see it now. Oh yeah. god, ago, I can't no unsee way. it. <laughs> he wears a stupid, like, half... He, he wears a, the top of a shirt. And... Overalls. This is why... This is why Titus is the worst. And also, I'm gonna save here. Don't let Nomura make a game ever again. That's good advice. <laughs> 